that they can steal. They just have to make sure it's their own. And I don't know how to talk about that because I don't know how to talk about plagiarism, but you're a teacher, so that's, think about it. I don't know how you do that. But just remind them that, like, I would steal from, the thing I would steal from this, everything I see or hear or read, I usually take something that I'm like, oh, that's really interesting to me. Um, um, and while I'm on this topic, high school kids are really worldly now to me. They seem really smart and worldly. They love to complain and, and criticize things. I would encourage them, if they see something that they hate, instead of talking about how much they hate it, ask them to talk about how they would improve it. So if you go to see a play in your town, one of the complicated ways people go through life. Do you know what I mean by that? Like, are they... Like in states, fear. Of, states of being like fearful. Let's do fearful. Mm. You know, it could be like hope, fear, grief, confusion. Like you know, like mm -hmm. complicated, enlightened. Yeah, all those, all those states of being. Tense. Okay. I don't know what you call them, but anyway. So now we're just gonna write a monologue. You're gonna, you're gonna give your kids no time. I'm giving you five minutes to write a monologue. Your name is Billy Bob. You're a carpenter. You're talking to a waitress. It's 7 p.m. on a Sunday. You're in Paris. You've been. I don't know how it fits in, but bobsledding has to fit in. Mars has to be in here somewhere. Elbow has to be in here somewhere. <coughs> Tiger has to be in here somewhere. Ooh, this back. Is that helpful? Yes. Yeah. Uh, mercury has to be in here somewhere. Aloe has to be in here somewhere. A blender has to factor in somewhere. Fearful or fear has to be in here somewhere. Immigration has to be discussed. Sadness has to be in there and it ends with friendship and people coming together. I just do two arrows like that for coming together, you know, coming together. Um, five minutes, tell them not to ask you any questions. Just say, do what I asked you to do. It doesn't matter if you use all these. I'm not gonna care, I'm not gonna know. The whole point is to just do it. So five minutes, monologue, and try not to ask me questions, but if you have one that's really present, go ahead. All right, go, five minutes. Says in some way. It could have been that you don't, please don't, but it's all so that one person is 
negative, negative, negative. <laughs> and it makes the other person fight to express themselves. <laughs> These are great exercises to do when you're late in the process, too, if you're having trouble with a character. Yeah. Mm. Like, you could make this person, make yourself make the other person fight for something who you don't know. You know what I mean? Because, like, you know one character in your play, but then the other character, whenever they talk, you're like, ooh, I don't really know how they talk, so I'll just ignore them. And then you finish your play, and you're like, that character's terrible. <laughs> and so you have to figure out, you have to spend time with them. Great exercise on your day was. Like, just give them a topic. Say, start, start talking, start writing about how your day was. That's the first line. Go ahead. <clears throat> and this first sentence should be like an extended thing. <clears throat> Can you keep going? So make them create like what, is Fortnite? <coughs> what Fortnite is, and then maybe you could help them tell a story through Fortnite. What is it? I don't know. Fortnite's a game. It's, like, it's Fortnite. a game with dances. I, all I know is that there's dances. It's a bad house. Yeah. It's in my household. Yeah. All the kids play it right now. Yeah. It's like that's all they can talk about. I would just learn it because it's, it's going to be what it, it's been zombies and apocalypse, and now it's going to turn into Fortnite. Everybody. There's oh. dances like the, the, because my kids are always doing these. Uh, the yeah, they're yeah, doing the, the, the that's the floss comes from that. The, the kids they yeah. all know all the dances. Yeah. yeah. High school. So that's what I want to say. Elementary. Oh. They're always going to they're, they're always going to want to write they, about zombies, and they're going to want another thing is if they want to write about zombies, then they have to figure out how the special effects are going to work. You can't. They have the responsibility. <coughs> Make them figure out if there's going to be a bloodbath. How are we going to do that? We can't have blood on our stage because we're just not allowed to. Or how are we going to make the blood and afford to make the blood? Um, are we going to use cloth to make the blood? Like, make them solve the problem theatrically so that they don't, you know, and then I want everybody on stage to be dead. That's easy. Everybody dies. But, like, I don't know, think of things that they want to do that are impossible and ask them to think about how to make it possible in the confines of uh, space that you're doing your play in. Does that make sense? Yeah. Um, so they could make cards for Fortnite, and then you could be writing based on those cards. Yes. Okay. That would be great. Just so that they don't understand how to let people into their stories. Do you know what I mean? Like, you're teachers, yeah. so you can tell them people don't understand. 
not everybody has that gift. I'm like, you know, like when my dad explains something, he has no idea when I can't tell him what he's talking about. Do you know what I mean? Like, whereas I can yes. tell immediately and he has no idea what I'm talking about. But he has, does not have that capacity. And when I say I don't understand, he'll be like, confused. And play as effectively as they can in a movie. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Did you have anybody? Yeah. 